Okay, this video is going to show you how to uh, work on your mask, pro mask project. So you're going to open Photoshop Mix. You're going to tap the plus sign on the left side of the screen. And you're going to create a custom canvas. When you go to custom canvas, you'll be asked to put in a title, a width, and a height. Use 2400 pixels by 3000 pixels and title your canvas mask project. And then you're going to click create. Okay. So when you come into the frame for your mask project, Use two fingers to um, squeeze or zoom out from your uh, main canvas. Then you're going to tap the plus on the right side of the screen and add an image. And this is where you're going to add the portrait that you've taken of yourself. So the first thing you're going to do, zoom in on that portrait. And then on the bottom, you're going to select cut out, select smart, and in this case, your image will be completely transparent. You can tell it's transparent because of the checkerboard. Using the Add uh, tool, you're going to select your face. OK. Now, you may have some areas selected that go beyond your face, like I have around my ear, my chin. That's where I um, move over to your Lasso tool and zoom way in. And in this case, you need to choose the Subtract tool. And then using your finger or your stylus, trace the areas of the image that are visible, not hidden by the checkerboard, that you want to eliminate. So you're just basically lassoing around those. Zoom out. When you're finished, once you've got that done, click the check on the bottom right corner, and you'll just have your face. OK. So I'm going to add some layers to this. And of course, we're making a mask. So we're thinking about sort of identity, agency, structure, power, um, what's the purpose of wearing a mask, um, and what do we hope to gain from this. So. I'm going to add another image. In this case, I've screenshotted uh, an image of the constellation Aquarius. Um, and I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to sub add to my image from the lasso. And I'm just going to make a shape that I want to work with. OK. Then I'm going to click OK. Now I can make this layer bigger or smaller by just using two fingers and um, putting them pinching or pulling. I can make the layer visible by double tapping it. Or invisible, I can hide the layer and then make it visible again by double tapping that layer. If I tap once and then hold, I get the mix layer options, which allows me to do a variety of things. Um, I can, in this case, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate that layer. So you can see that I have two. And the top one is the one that is selected. It has the blue around it. Okay. Now, with my layers, I can change layer order by clicking and dragging layers below other layers. Whatever is on top on the right-hand thumbnail layer palette, um, what's stacked on the top is going to be on top in terms of our digital image. We can think of it as a collage. OK, so um, and whichever layer is selected, you can either select it by tapping that image layer in your canvas, or you can tap the image layer um, in the thumbnails is the one that you're going to work with. So I am going to start creating kind of headdress around my mask. making these sort of bigger and smaller as I go. Okay. 
and I'm going to keep duplicating my images to keep adding to this. Um, now, I'm going to, before I go any further, I'm going to move all of this down just a little bit so I have a little more space to work. Okay, I'll do one more. Now, to add a little bit more realism to this, I can start shifting and changing these around. So right now, they're all just direct duplicates of each other changing sizes. I could also flip them, either horizontal or vertical, so you'll notice the image just inverted, and I could start, you know, multiplying these. Now the next thing I can do, um, Photoshop Mix will only allow me so many layers. I think it's about 10 or 11 layers. So at a certain point, as I continue with this, I'm going to run into problems um, where I have too many layers. So I can go back to that option, um, to the, the image layer options, and underneath the duplicate option, I can go to merge down. You can see now those two layers have merged together. They now move as one layer, and I've freed myself up with some space. The challenge is I can't select those layers individually. I can't work with them individually anymore, but okay. Um, now I am going to duplicate my face as well, and I'm going to cut out from this layer. Lasso. I'm going to subtract everything. Oops. I'm going to subtract. So I went over to add. Okay, now I'm going to add back. I'm going to zoom in. I'm cut out my eye. Okay, so now I have an eye. And I can make this again because it's below my other layers, we see it as behind. I could make it as big or as small as I want. I could continue playing with this. Okay, right, and um, so just to give you a sense, I'm going to add a background layer as well. Um, I'm going to add a solid color, although you could add an image layer. Color, I need to pull the central dot around my color wheel. I'm going to, there we go, I'm going to say that color. Now I'm going to click, and drag this layer below my face so that it creates a background. Of course we know we can play with uh, our adjustments. We can play with temperature, we can play with exposure. We could play with contrast, highlights, shadows, clarity, and we know saturation. If we want to keep those changes, we tap the check on the bottom right. If we want to eliminate them, I don't really want to use these changes. Click the X. We can also use blending modes, which we saw in the tutorials, which make that layer blend with the layers below in various ways. You can play around with those. If we want to keep those, we click the check. If we want to eliminate those and do that, we click the X. If we want to undo, undo any of our last options, we click the, um, the back arrow at the very top. If we want to redo that, click the forward arrow. Um, when we're finished, you click this arrow on the top left corner to save your file, and it will go into your overall um, documents. Now, this is the mask that I worked on that I ultimately finished. Using the, it, now you can go back in and work as much as you want. If you tap the icon on the bottom left corner that looks like bricks, our images will become larger we can rename them. T 
test, rename. We could duplicate that by clicking the overlap with the plus. We get a copy. We can delete that by clicking the trash can. And we can send that to 